What's going on you guys and welcome back to the beginners complete series on Elixir. So in this video, I want to take a look at how we can save our to-do list to the file system or essentially how do we write to the file system. So there's one thing I kind of want to go over first, which is to explain how exactly Elixir is compiled. So every time we run, like if we go back to the command line, we do IEX S mix. So every time uh, we write some uh, like, or every time we access this to do's module that we've created, like it's been compiled, but how exactly does that happen? So I'll just create like a uh, document where we can use this to just write up the way in which it works. So we have our Elixir code. So the stuff that we write, uh, just put what we write. Then this goes down to um, the something called Erlang uh, abstract format. And then down to like actual Erlang code. So I'm like throwing this word Erlang around a lot. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Erlang is another programming language uh, that was developed, I think, back in the late 1980s. And Elixir is basically built on top of that language. So you could imagine how to take some random language like um, JavaScript and then you create another language built on top of JavaScript. So in this sense, like Elixir is built on top of another language, which is Erlang. And then this is then compiled down to something uh, called, or it's read using something called Beam which is a virtual machine. And if you've heard of, or if you've used Java in the past or have heard of Java, then uh, you may have also heard of something called JVM, which is the Java virtual machine. And that's how Java code is read and uh, how it allows the computer to understand the code that you write in Java. And Beam is the kind of equivalent for Elixir and, and actually Erlang as well. So um, this goes into Beam and that creates bytecode out of it for our computer to read. So that's basically the journey our Elixir code takes. So the computer will read what we write and then it will go down to this thing called Erlang abstract format, which is then turned into actual Erlang code. And then it's read by this beam, this virtual machine called beam into bytecode. And then our computer can knows what to do. And you're probably asking like, why am I telling you all about this? That's because we, the great thing about Elixir is that you can, as it's built on top of Erlang, we can also make use of the functionality that comes with Erlang as well. So it gives us kind of like one language, one very modern language, which is Elixir and all the modules that come with it. On top of that, we get the um, beauty of having, getting to use like a, an older language and all the functionalities that come with that too. So we're quite spoiled for choice when it comes to writing code in Elixir. And um, yeah, so we'll make use of that here. So right at the bottom of um, our like to-dos module, we'll create something called save. And that will just like write the uh, to-do or our tasks into the file system. So we'll pass in the tasks and also specify a file name. So it'd be nice to kind of, yeah, like for us as a user to say, we wanted to say, we want to store our tasks inside this file. And then to end it off, do. So in order to access Erlang code, it's very, very simple. Um, it's like, we have to use uh, the, to, yeah, we have to use this like atom like thing, um, which is like Erlang. And this, this thing here, this colon, colon with Erlang, uh, allows us to just access a bunch of functions that come with it. And if you hit the period button afterwards, and if you've got code completion on, you'll see all these kind of like functions that come with it. There's loads here, but the one that we want to use is something called term to binary. And what term to binary does is it just allows us to kind of it looks at the list that we pass it in and it just converts that into something that can be written to the file system. So whether it be a list, string, number, integer, whatever, um, in our case, it is a list, but that's what term to binary will do. So we need to pass tasks into that. 
and this will return like the binary format for it and we can just store that in a variable called binary and I'm just gonna add some comments here just to kind of um, like instill what I've said so we're invoking a line code and what we're doing is is we're basically just converting uh, our list so that it can be written to our file system. So yeah, that's uh, what we've done. And we've stored this binary into this variable called binary. And then finally, we'll make use of the file module, which comes again built in with Elixir. So this isn't Erlang code, this is Elixir code as we haven't specified this colon and then Erlang. And then we can just say file and it has just this very clean method or write so write without the exclamation mark and all we have to do is pass in the file name and also like here it says content so the stuff that we want to store and we'll throw in our binary variable so that's really it that's all it takes just to um, save our task we can now go ahead and try it I'm just going to open up my file explorer so we can see this file called, um, like we'll call it tasks, we'll see that being created. So I'm back in the, um, yeah, in virtual, oh, the Elixir environment, and I'm just gonna recompile as we've now made some changes. And yep, that module is saved. So now we can do something like, we'll create our tasks, uh, actually just call this to-dos. I'm very like, um, inconsistent with the naming, but uh, to do's tasks, however you want. Um, and then we'll do to do's dot. Um, so we'll first create our to do's. So you do to do's or create to do's. Enter the number of to do's you want. Let's say we want four. And let's enter a task. So uh, eat five a day. Um, go for a walk meet up with friends and shoot elixir video and there we go we have our to do's and we've stored it in our to do's variable like so and now we can go ahead and save it to our uh, to uh, to a file so again like here in my like explorer and if you've got yours open as well You'll see once we call this save file, you'll see this uh, file being created based on the name that you've specified. So I'll do to do's dot save. And the first argument is our lists. So we can pass in to do's. So this guy here. And then the name of the file, which will be a string. And we can say something like uh, tasks. And if we hit save, or not save, or if we hit enter, we get back OK as file.write returns OK. And you can see here now in the file explorer, we get this tasks and it can't open it as it's um, saved and there's in like a binary format. But that's really it. Like um, uh, that's how we, you can save or write to the file system. And uh, yeah, like that covers the this video in the next one we'll look at how we can read from our file system so that way we can check to see okay are we saving it properly and um, also kind of look more into pattern matching and the power that comes with atoms so if you're not so familiar with that hopefully the next video can help kind of drive the idea of what atoms are all about in elixir but yeah until then stay safe stay healthy Subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed it, but I will see you in the next video.